What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon. The channel is 540 Flips. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, I like to do content, if you are new here, um, regarding reselling on eBay. I uh, like to go out to garage sales, yard sales, estate sales, Goodwills, Goodwill bins, other thrift stores, and try to find items that um, have some value to them that I can pick up and then resell on eBay for profit. I do this full time, so it is my source of income. And uh, But more importantly than that, it's a lot of fun. So hope you enjoy. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and uh, subscribe if you haven't and always comment down below i like to hear other people's opinions and thoughts and uh comments join the conversation so uh, again hope everybody has been doing well uh i did not record any really over the weekend it was memorial day weekend um me and my wife actually went up to uh the 14 mile yard sale in west virginia uh wasn't much going on in our area, so uh, I kind of looked into that. I had heard Chernox Connection speak of it on the Reseller Information Network. Uh, shout out to those guys. Enjoy uh, join, uh, popping in. If I could talk today, man. Popping in on Tuesdays when they're live with the uh, listing or loafing. Um, just join the conversation and listen uh, while I, either I'm driving or uh, sitting down listing myself or what have you. But I had heard him mention it. There wasn't much going on around here in terms of sales. Uh, I did some research, found the location where it was located, and then put it in the maps to see how far away it was. It was only an hour and a half away, which sounds like a long drive, but really it's a very beautiful drive. It's up uh, towards the mountains and everything. Uh, not a bad drive at all. Not like in city traffic and stuff like that. That can be annoying. So it was a very nice drive. Uh, it was a beautiful day, great day, good weather, and uh, so me and her went up there. I have to say, those folks, they put on a show. Uh, I did not know what to expect. I didn't really see any posts. I don't know where the people posted them, um, but I couldn't see like previews of who was having what out or how many sales there was going to be. We just kind of took a chance and figured uh, Saturday morning, again, nice weather, beautiful drive, just go out and if there was nothing, then so be it. At least we got out to have some fun. But uh, it turned out to be a lot of sales. Um, some pretty good stuff we found. Good prices, but the people were really nice as well. Um, so it was a fun day all around. Nothing like too home run hit-ish, uh, but there was some good items, some good pickups, but anyway hope you guys had a great weekend hope you enjoyed your memorial day uh we are at the end of the month today is actually wednesday may 31st so we're closing out may uh so i wanted to just touch on that a little bit may has been an up and down month um i would say it's well below well it's well below last month and then last month was a bit below the previous month so march i've had my best month so far April, I did pretty good. This month, uh, numbers were down a bit. They were still good, but they were down. And I know that there's tons of talks out there about the updates and everything else. And you can kind of see it. I mean, I know people, th there's a debate of whether it's people's items, or, you know, the quality of the items. Um, is it eBay? Is it the economy? Like, there's so many debates of what it could be. But you can kind of see it. It is definitely something with eBay because if it was the items, you're just not gonna sell them, right? They're, they're not gonna sell, you're not gonna see activity, it doesn't matter, right? Your, your items are just garbage and nobody wants them, they're overpriced and, and you're not gonna make any sales. But what I've noticed with my graph is it goes up and then it goes down and it all month it has looked like this massive roller coaster. I will have you know, increasingly steady rise on my sales, and then it just plummets to nothing, increasingly steady rise on my sales, plummets to nothing the next day. So it's like these stairways, right? Looks like a, looks like a, a, a youngster in elementary school, like trying to draw mountains, you know, sharp point up and then nothing, drop off, sharp point up, drop off. And that's how mine have been all month long. And 
you can almost see when the site is working or there's rumor you know about different servers and being on the good server or whatever whether that's true or not i don't know but when things are clicking my sales are good and that tells me well it's not my items or they wouldn't be selling at all um so it's very frustrating uh but at the same time um things are still clicking you know when it works it works good when it doesn't you just got to deal with it i guess uh, I know a lot of folks have started cross posting and other things and I've sat and you know even though I do this full time I I don't have a staff I don't have you know employees and that sort of thing and I just don't know if I could manage doing other platforms with cross posting and all that stuff to be honest I've been an approved seller on whatnot for probably over two years now and I have never once set a sale up. I've never once done it. Uh, I, I was approved on there to sell back when I was only doing sports cards before I even got into uh, full reselling. Um, because I was doing auctions and sales on my YouTube channel and people were coming on there. And folks said, you know, suggested just doing it on whatnot because then all the payment handling and all of that was right there. And I just never did it. Like it. it the platform the onboarding like it just i don't know there i had a lot of questions with it now i know it's a popular platform i know a lot of folks are doing well on there both in sports cards and in uh, the full-blown reselling community um it's something that has intrigued me like with being able to source hats you know if if i had a bunch of hats and i just wanted to unload them real quick or something you know doing it but at the same time you know you have to have an audience and i if you cannot tell i'm not great at building a social media audience uh, it's kind of the run of the mill um i get lucky i guess in some situations like with my other channel growth uh because of what i was doing and other people wasn't doing it and when the pandemic hit and you know businesses shut down the company i was using was staying open so it drew attention to my channel uh but a lot of people you know sometimes don't like my takes on things uh maybe i'm not the most entertaining i don't know uh but it, that, that doesn't matter like i i still do the content here even with only 40 some subs um i don't have the biggest audience i don't get the most views i don't get the most subscribers i don't know how to do the algorithm thing but i'm also not paying for websites like you know all these sites out there that tell you analytically what you should be doing i don't pay for any of that so you know i'm sure youtube is like most anything else and if, if you want to really really push the envelope you got to pay to play and uh, i just i haven't done that so um i do it for fun and uh you know i've said it before to kind of motivate me kind of vlog and go along um, would it be cool to, to get, you know, a, a big audience and more people talking about reselling and conversating? Absolutely, because I don't really have a lot of people to discuss it with. So, um, you know, that that also is kind of uh, it's kind of a bummer because it's something that I get excited about and passionate about. But then I don't really have, you know, anyone outside the wife, you know, me and her talk about it and watch YouTube channels and stuff like that. But outside of that, I don't have a lot to, to discuss it with. So, uh, but anyway, I had something happen yesterday. Um, do have, uh, as of right now, and it's 1 11 PM currently, uh, I have 10 orders for 408, um, to pack up and go out. I am waiting on payment i believe on one or two items uh that's something else i want to get into at a later date ebay needs to do something where buyers get punished for non-payment they it, it, it's just too much of it that goes on and as sellers if we get punished for things that <laughs> that sometimes is out of our control uh buyers should be getting punished for things that are within their control. They shouldn't be sending offers. They shouldn't accept seller offers. They shouldn't bid on auctions, any of that. They are 
entering a contract and i'm not gonna i don't want to get into this but anyway it's something for a future date but what i did have happen i actually had ebay call me and i didn't really care for the response but and if this has ever happened to you please comment below because this is the first time i've been on ebay for a long time and this is the first time this has ever happened but i had three sales come in within the matter of uh, 47 minutes so across 47 minutes one was at um let's see it would have been 5 53 p.m my time the next one would have been 6 19 p.m my time and then the next one would have been 6 40 p.m my time so it was 26 minutes apart and then another 21 minutes apart and it was three sales they were all um Fontanini little uh, nativity figurines so all the same genre same type of item and everything it was different people um, but the buyers I happened to notice it was all the same name the all the same like personal name the address was the same all of that information was the same but the eBay accounts were three different eBay accounts all with zero feedback now i'm not going to spoil the person's name but i will say that all of the accounts do reference and relate to the person's last name so it's kind of like when you create a new account it gives you that generic little username that you can go back later and, and change it'll be like you know if your last name was uh ralph it would be like ralph 012 and then ralph 123 and ralph 456 whatever you know uh that's kind of what this was it was three different transactions all from the same person all with different ebay account names all with zero feedback so i contacted ebay to ask them i was hoping they could give me some insight they should have been able to see how these items were purchased and my th only thought was, did the, did the person buy it on an outside platform outside of eBay.com or the eBay app to where they were checking out maybe as a guest and eBay was just populating this username. But since they did three different transactions, it created three different guest user accounts or whatever. And the representative was basically little help at all like she really didn't tell me anything um what she what she suggested was reach out to the buyer and see if they respond to you um all of the items are paid for so you're you know you're good the the ebay or the addresses are you know in the system so as long as you ship them and to the address or whatever you're covered and i get all of that but it was just like why in the hell is it three different ebay accounts like what is going on here because I've never seen that before. And again, all zero feedback. So little little to no help at all. Little to no explanation. Uh, she didn't seem to know why it was like that. And uh, that's a bit concerning. Because they should be able to tell like what the, where the transaction originated. What platform it was purchased on. That sort of thing. That should be shown there. Especially when you have an order number. Uh, they should be able to see where it's processed from. Um, I also am in a predicament and I ask because I would have gratefully like combined shipping and I would have shipped the item and refunded some of the shipping. But as far as I'm aware, since these are three different eBay account names that purchase this, I have to package them separately and ship them separately because I don't know that you can use the same tracking number for shipments going to two different eBay account IDs. So that was another thing and I didn't get a clear answer on that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and ship them separately just that way covering my butt and uh, nobody, you know, nobody can claim that I didn't ship them if I did it all with one tracking number. Um, but let me know, has this ever happened to you? Uh, what, do you? what do you think happened? Was it something where they bought on, the, on an outside platform? Um, I don't know. It was very weird. And if it wasn't the same three type of items 
and all of the names spelled the same way you know they, they the way they did their name was different um it, it like kind of ran somewhat together in parts uh if it wasn't all the same like that and if there was variables to it and the address and everything else then i wouldn't i would have just canceled the orders but um anyway just thought i would share with you guys hope you all have a wonderful day um actually tell you what i haven't done this in a while so uh let me run over to the shipping room and i'll share with you guys real quick the items that are going out and how much they sold for i will be back in a minute all right guys i'm back gonna run real quick through what sold again have 10 sales i've actually forgot one in the other room um but i'll go over it uh but anyway start out with this one here uh this one would make leroy on the uh, reseller information network proud actually got this at the 100 mile yard sale along with another one that was brand new just open i, I sold it as brand new open box also a uh makita one uh got some other like dewalt tools and stuff like that uh it was one of those situations where it paid first to be at the sale and the lady uh it, it was a big garage and it wasn't really advertised that pretty much everything in the garage was for sale but she told me and the wife anything in here except for this this and this is for sale so i went looking and uh, found some cool items like that um i may have sold a little cheap though i sold the new open box one for 199 this one i put at 109.99 plus shipping i listed it last night it's already sold this one does need the replacement bottom part uh where the little sponge pad is because it when i plugged it in and started running it to test it uh, that started crumbling making a huge mess so i just removed the plate the entire plate so put that in the listing hopefully somebody actually read and didn't just pull the trigger but um anyway it does need a new bottom plate and it is in the listing next up is this item right here this was a very popular item uh it's a ll bean by russell athletic little quarter zip like hooded sweatshirt uh, this thing, man, had tons of views, tons of watchers and everything. Finally, somebody pulled the trigger on it. It's going international. Uh, it sold for $34.99 plus $9.99 shipping. This I actually got from the Goodwill bins. It was something that uh, some of the younger dudes that like buy, <laughs> they're really good at scoping out and uh, finding the vintage t-shirts and stuff down there. They are quick. Uh, but they had actually put that back in the bin. I looked at it never had seen an ll bean by russell athletic thought it was kind of cool and it was in great shape so i went ahead and took it um so you know probably about two bucks into it maybe because you pay by pound into 35 plus shipping i will take it the next item that i didn't grab from the other room i got to get it out of the box where i keep all my cards sorted uh is an 01 tops collection reggie wayne rookie uh that sold for three dollars plus ebay standard envelope and that was a repeat buyer so i kind of gave a better price on that um next up this is another one i just listed recent uh real got it from a sale across the mountain a guy gave me a bunch of die cast cars for nine dollars i didn't even really go through them all uh, but it had this red line in here this is a uh, hot wheels red line jack rabbit special this is the black interior version uh, that did $12.99 plus shipping on that. So not bad there. Next is a pair of Under Armour women's uh, athletic tennis or golf shorts. Um, likely been by, I would assume. I can't remember where these came from. Um, but I, you know, I wouldn't have paid very much for a pair of women's athletic shorts. I don't buy a lot of women's clothes to begin with. I think i bought these just because of the activities coming up with golf and tennis you know people going out playing spring summertime but anyway sold for 15 plus shipping uh next up is another stampin up set uh, this is thanks be for the set it has not been mounted or used so brand new there from 1998 a vintage set uh, that sold for ten dollars plus shipping 
And then next are the three Fontanini pieces. You see them there that I was just talking about. Uh, these are all going to the same buyer, but again, with different eBay accounts. So I don't know what was going on, but Abner sold for $13.99 plus shipping. Um, Enoch sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And Samson was $18.99 plus shipping. And I am, like I said, going to ship them all separately just because I don't know if I would get dinged for trying to uh, combine being that it's three separate eBay identification uh, accounts. Uh, and then last up is two. These are uh, DualShock 3 wireless uh, PlayStation 3 controllers. Uh, bought both of those, I believe, from Goodwill for probably like $350 a piece. Um, they sold for $30 plus shipping. I took an offer of $15 each on them. So not too bad there. But uh, yeah, that I mean, that sander kind of boosted the sale number up today, the dollar amount. Um, hopefully things get swinging back to normal. Hopefully we can go into June pushing full steam ahead. Like I said, it's just things, you know, it's each day kind of crept up and then drop down and then we creep up. It's like you're climbing a set of stairs and then you fall. Climb the set of stairs and you fall. Um, it was very weird on my graphs for this month. So I like them to be more steady. Um, you know, maybe a spike here or there, but the way it looked this month was very weird. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, that's what I got for you guys today. Hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you again later. Thank you.